Hello, and welcome to another tutorial in XNA. And in this tutorial, I forgot what I was going to do. Okay, now I remember. We got an error, and it said we must begin a sprite batch call. And that's probably because in our ma map maker co uh, class, in the draw method, we didn't start a sprite batch dot begin and sprite batch dot end. So sprite batch dot begin and sprite batch dot end. Okay, that should do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and debug this and see what happens. Hopefully something will. Okay, yeah. So you see sort of how there's three walls and I could drag them and place them stuff like that pretty cool right yeah but we want to be able to place more than three blocks and uh, yeah you know I think the reason it's doing that is because of the map reader uh, just give me a second okay yeah yeah it's our map reader so I'm going to change this up a little bit in our items class wherever that is uh, okay right here I'm just gonna add a bunch of new things like just like our bullets I'm just gonna add a bunch of them a bunch of each object so you know what I'm gonna create the object database right in here instead of the map maker so Get rid of this object database variable and put it in your items class. And make it public static variable. Public static. And in your initialize method, I'm going to do, uh, yeah, this thing. So just copy all that, paste it in here. And yeah. And for all the errors that you get where it says I can't find object uh, DB or object database just type in I items dot object database and it sh you should be fine okay I think we're almost good okay there we go that should fi fix our errors uh, now next thing we want to do is just add a bunch of this stuff so uh, object O, you know what, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Let's just change this to a big number, like 300, something like that. And make a for each loop, for each, for each object, shoot, sorry, object O in object database. gonna create a new object and let's see sorry I lost my train of thought okay let's see if I can do this no I can't I, I just realized that okay I found a solution so what we want to do is basically just copy this and put it in here get rid of this for each loop I was dumb in making that. I don't know what I was thinking, but just get rid of that. And just say object list dot add. Object list. Instead of object database. So just replace object database with object list. And yeah. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Oh my gosh, I'm done. Oh well. Okay, so, anyways. I should have uh, cutted that because we have to do the same thing still for object database. So, do the same thing for object database. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's basically what we want to do. And I'm going to go back in our object class and 
default alive is set to true. True, we want to set it to false at default. So, yeah, we don't need this. Yeah, we don't we don't need all this stuff now. Uh, right here, and we can even change the bullet, and we can have the bullet in here actually. So we can do this, the same exact thing with a bullet, and get rid of this for statement for for loop. Okay. And that should add 300 units of each item to the list. Uh, and that's sufficient enough, I think. So, go to the map maker. And let's go ahead and play it. Our map maker should work, but I don't think our, our uh, play our, our actual game won't work anymore but as you can see our map maker works pretty well what we want to do when I press the button it starts uh, placing a new object there okay so yeah that's exactly what we want not really actually we want it to snap to the grid which is not happening for some reason so I'm gonna go to object class and uh, find the snap to grid method which is right here and why is it not doing it Okay, I'm just going to put a breakpoint right here and test it. Uh, I'm going to pause the video. Okay. I figured out the problem. Uh, what we failed to do in our snap to grid method was just add these integer uh, conversion thingies. Yeah, so just do that. And the reason I'm doing this is because otherwise it would be a float and when you multiplied it back by the grid size after dividing it you would just get the same number again but if you get an integer there won't be any decimals so it will round off uh, and yeah and that's exactly what we want so okay so let's uh, debug this and see if it works hopefully it will finally work Oops. Yeah, okay, that's that's yeah, sort of what we want. So it's always snapping with the grid. Okay. Yeah. Except we also want to actually see our cursor, so uh that's another thing. So this is just the start of our map maker. Next we want to make it uh remove items and stuff like that. But first thing is I'm just going to make it be able to show your cursor because that's a problem if it's not showing it. Uh, I'm just gonna put cursor, cursor, and cursor dot load content, content, and cursor dot update. and cursor dot draw somewhere here cursor dot draw oops okay oh dang it what the heck all right sprite batch now this should sort of work this should work all right Say cursor cursor equals new cursor. <laughs> I know you have to say cursor three times. Okay, because I forgot to set it to a new object, and that's why it's giving me errors. Because it's like, hey, what the heck? This doesn't even exist. Okay. And what the heck? My cursor isn't showing up. Okay, that's weird. Uh, cursor dot update. Let's see what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video and uh, check what's going wrong. Okay, I think I know what's going on. Uh, go back to ma your map maker. All uh, right, when cursor dot after cursor dot load content, just say cursor dot alive equals true. Okay, 
uh, yeah, since alive is equal to false at by default, it wasn't doing anything. So now our cursor should show up. And as you can see, it's sort of offset our blocks. And I think if we want to be more precise, we can go to our, what should we call it? What the heck am I doing? Our object class. And instead of these integer things, we can just say math dot round math dot round as you can see you can get some errors and you and just put the integer things uh, right after the math dot round to uh, convert them to integers so otherwise I think it's a double so just debug that see if it works and yeah a little bit more accurate yeah so whenever we're in the box yeah, okay, that's exactly what we want. Okay, so you can place uh, blocks like this. Okay, and we can make the grid size smaller if we want, but eh, this is good. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please leave a rating, uh, comment if you have any suggestions or uh, constructive criticism. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.